what appears that the stock's falling on this very slight miss when it comes to the cloud business. Uh, in your mind, big deal, not as big of a deal? Yeah, I don't see it as time to panic. I really don't. And you can see that the stock even bounced back up a little bit after falling after hours. And the reason I believe this is because if you thought the AI story was working before yesterday, you still think it's working today, right? It, uh, in the call, Satya Nadella, Amy Hood, they talked about the fact that this was a capacity issue, right? There's hardware that's needed to enable customers to build with this AI technology, and it's in short supply. So that was a thing holding back some of the growth. It still contributed to 8% of Azure's growth, AI. It still contributed to 8% of Azure's growth in the quarter. So I don't think the story has changed at all, or at least not very much. And I don't think it's time to panic on Microsoft. You know, what you're saying has been echoed by a number of analysts. I'm just going to point to uh, Jeffrey's Brent Phil. He said basically, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but he says basically the company tripped over a hurdle, but they're still leading in the race. Um, another uh, data point in that note was that Microsoft M365 Copilot customers, that according to Microsoft, grew 60% quarter over quarter, and they also saw an increase in 10,000 seat deployments, basically those big enterprise customers. Is that being overlooked possibly in this report, the fact that this AI co-pilot story that's really kind of pushed the markets all year long, we are starting to see adoption and we are starting to see people actually find the use cases. Yeah, I think it's part of the whole story, which is that there was exuberance earlier on, right? Like a company doesn't add a trillion dollars in market cap in 96 days. I'm talking about NVIDIA. If there isn't some exuberance within the AI story, thinking this, this can change the world in a minute. But if you think about the, what the stats that you just cited, right, these deployments, they take time. There's a lot of change management to deal with. Companies have to figure out exactly how it works in their workflow. And that means gradual change, right? So when you see this adoption of Copilot, which is happening seat by seat in the, in, in the enterprise, that is a good sign. And it also shows that this stuff is going to incrementally move the needle for companies that adopt it and over time add up to a big story. So I think that fits in to the broader narrative here. All right, so you're saying overtime leads to a big story. I want to look ahead, if you don't mind, Meta. We have had two, uh, actually three of the Magnificent Seven companies report, but two of them, Alphabet and Microsoft, they came low, they fell after actually reporting top and bottom line beats. Investors kind of looking for one thing in there and kind of picking at that. Is any of this a read when it comes to Meta? Uh, when it came to Alphabet, we saw some weakness in ads. Here, uh, we saw a slowdown in the cloud business. Also, I think some concerns about the CapEx spending. Uh, CapEx up about 78% year over year. Is any of this a concern when we look ahead to Meta? Yeah, in the Alphabet earnings, there was uh, some slowness in YouTube, and I thought, okay, maybe this could be a read through to Meta, and it might be. But I think Meta has an opportunity and probably has capitalized on this moment where advertisers at the time uh, that um, we started the year were looking for more efficient ad spend, right, return on ad spend. And Meta's been able to deliver that, right, whereas some of your traditional more brand type of spend, um, you know, that's pulled back. So I think there's an opportunity for them to capitalize that on the quarter, they're gonna be spending a lot. We know that, we know they're gonna be spending a lot on Reality Labs. We know they're gonna be spending a lot on AI. And up until this point, the market has been good with that when that story's been on AI. Um, but the market this quarter in particular, thinking about Alphabet, thinking about Microsoft, has been a little bit uh, finicky when it comes to that AI spend. So if there's misses and a lot of spend going on within Meta, there could be an issue. But overall, I expect a positive quarter for the company. You know, one last question, Alex. we got to get out of here after this. Uh, we're going to play a soundbite from our Jim Cramer later in the show. I'm going to paraphrase, Cram paraphrase Cramer. He basically said investors are starting to get religion when it comes to valuations. Do you believe that valuations are also a part of this story, that the quarter has to be perfect or investors, they start to get a little skittish when it comes to these high valuation names? Yeah, definitely. Look, the AI story propelled some of these valuations, I would say, a little bit you know, further to the upside than they should have been. And for this moment to really work in the economy, for big tech in particular, you need to have rational valuations um, so the companies can operate with consistency, so that investors' are ex expectations are within the realm of reason. And I do believe that if we get these valuations in line with where they should be, then you're going to see the more steady growth as opposed to the exuberance, and that will help propel everything forward.